Thank you. Um, Queensland's Peak Environment Group, the Queensland Conservation Council, formally received 77,000 um, in funding from GVESHO last year, um, which represented about 20% of their total revenue. It's the only funding that they receive to um, resource their engagement on matters of national environmental significance. I understand on the same day as they were told that the funding would not reoccur, that they also received a request from the department to engage in the consultation on the Water Act review. Um, and I believe that the letter that the department sent QCC stated that, quote, input from key stakeholders will be critical to the, to the delivery of a successful review process and <coughs> outcome. If the department and the Commonwealth does value input from stakeholders, why is it removing that administrative support? It sounds like you're asking for uh, personal opinions on, on, on policy, uh, Senator. Well, perhaps the Minister might like to respond to that one. Well, so what is your exact question? Well, on the day when a, a peak environment body in Queensland received word that the GVESHO funding would not be continued, it was also asked to um, consult on the Water Act review um, on the basis, the stated basis that key stakeholders' input would be critical. How can the department on the one hand value that input and on the other hand remove funding so that that input can be given? Well, I mean, funding, taxpayer funding is not the only way to value uh, input from organisations that have got a particular perspective on particular issues. Uh, the reality is we've <coughs> inherited a budget uh, in, in a mess and we are making the decisions that need to be made in order to repair the budget mess that we've inherited because that's what we need to do if we are to protect <coughs> Uh, our living standards and uh, build opportunity and prosperity for the future. Now, we, we don't make any apologies for that. Uh, the decisions that we've made uh, in this budget when it comes to the allocation of limited taxpayer resources are deliberate uh, decisions. Uh, and, uh, you know, obviously uh, you are entitled to agree or disagree with the judgments that we've made, but uh, uh, we've made them uh, in the national interest. So will the government be increasing the funding for community consultation to replace that? Um, reduce, uh, reduction of GVS well, uh, funding? I, I, if, you, if you are asking me uh, on, beha you know, on behalf of the government what judgments will be made by the Minister for the Environment in the Environment Portfolio, I will take that question on notice and uh, consult with Minister Hunt uh, and see whether I can assist you further. Thank you. Do the budget papers shed any light on that question as they are currently printed? Sorry, Senator. Do the budget papers provide an answer? The Minister's taken it on notice, but is there anything that we know? from the budget papers as to whether there'll be an increase in community consultation to compensate for the loss of the GBESHO funds? Uh, not, that I'm, I'm not, well, not that I'm aware of, Senator. Okay, thanks. Well, I'll wait for that question on notice. Um, has the department had any discussions or meetings with the IPA about that program? Or any other aspects of the portfolio? Who, who are you talking about? You're talking about the Institute of Public Affairs, mm. are you? Well, I doubt it. Uh, not that I'm aware not, of. Not that we're aware of. So. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> not that meetings with the IPI uh, would be a criminal offence, uh, Senator Waters. No, I'm sure they're a frequent occurrence on, on your side, Minister. 